this is one that I share with people that when I know that they're into some of the peatier whiskies and I say, well, look, you, you, you have to try this. And this is one that I pull out when I have guests around. And I haven't actually, yeah, smelt this, but this is, this is interesting. eh? And this is peated as well, isn't it? It sure yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah. So this is, so this is di- dyad peat and pork. So um, I either made another dyad. So the other dyad is called the dyad Chardonnay. So, so when they're dyad, D-Y-A-D, that means it's a, a double, double barrel. So dyad means double or pair. So in, in sociology, teacher and student is a dyad. Um, so we got the name dyad. And so it's, um, so it's, so it's a, a double cask, um, always in a wine cask finish. And so that could be like, like a Chardonnay or, or it can be a fortified wine. And so the first uh, four years, I believe, um, is in ex bourbon, and then the final two years, no, sorry, final year, um, in a, a port cask. I uh, should qualify the use of the word port because it's not a port from Portugal, but it's a Waiheke port. And so Patrick Newton, he's the winemaker with Mudbrick Winery, and so he's transferred those those winemaking skills over to whiskey. Um, he he wanted to finish a a peated whiskey. In a port cask, and so there's about 30 wineries on Waiheke, Waiheke Island. He went looking around all the wineries to see if anyone had a port cask. Nobody had one, and so he said, "Okay, I'll just have to make the port myself then." And so he made a port, disgorged the wine, and fresh built the barrel with the peated spirit. So I think this is really yeah, like the the, the DNA and the the character of Waiheke being the being the peat. It's got the story of of Pat making the making the wine and making the making the the whiskey, and so it is. A true, a true dyad, not just a double cask, but double Waiheke mm-hmm. and double the person that made it. So, yeah, it's um, it's really, I think, the direction that Waiheke whiskey is moving in. And yeah, it was a, a real fan favorite. I think at Dramfest. I, I, this is my first time with this one, and like the smell on it is big and fat fruit, like big um, raisiny and, and plum almost. And then oh, yeah. the taste was almost unexpected, but it's that exactly, but like times ten almost. Like it's it's just so much big fruit and then the barley and then that little bit of smoke it's just kind of ashiness under undertone to it um it's not really it's not it's definitely not up front it's more that fruit up front and then that that Mm. smoke is just there sort of providing that little bit of ashiness like you're around a campfire Mm. um with you know with with some wine in your hand almost but Mm -hmm. but it's it's incredibly well balanced yeah really well balanced yeah 